Hello YouTube, Ian here from Cool Ice Charge Case and Power Spice. Hope you're all safe and well. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I'm just going to jump straight to it. We have an exciting new product I'd like to show you. This is the first one, the first prototype, if you like, that is going to go to its owner, Rob Bingham. And he can then give me a good test because he's the one who's actually supplied me the batteries to test this. So basically what we have here is we have a tradesperson that wants to go flying after he's finished work. Uh, we're not talking about the big machines. We're potentially talking about the smaller ones, the OMP M1, M2, um, and obviously potentially up to about 380 size, 400 class perhaps at a push with a 6S small capacity pack. So we are looking then for a way to charge them. So the plan was ISDT Air 8, we know it works, great. So that's what we've gone with. Now I've then designed a custom box mount for it, if you like, that also has underneath a kickstand. And I hope you can see that. I'm going to check to make sure. Yep, it obviously then puts it at an angle on my bench if I want it. And I will grab the phone in a minute and show that. So I can stow that away if I want and just have it at the back. At the front then we've got the usual XT60 out and the JST XH. I did put the 9 pin in there for the ATS capability, potentially for future expansion, but um, for the time being I think we'll obviously be mainly up to 6S at the most. Now how do we power it? So a tradesperson potentially has a lot of these. In this instance this is a Milwaukee drill pack. They can be used in anything from radios to high impact drills, I think, and hedge trimmers and stuff like that. So you've been out working, you've been charging these up all day and you've kept them fully charged because you can use them to power your charger. So I only have one, so it does put it a little bit off balance, but we're ready to go. We want to charge a pack and boom, there we go. We now have the charger running off the Milwaukee 4 milliamp well 4000 milliamp hour battery in this instance which is roughly i think 20 volts i think it outputs if i go down on the page i can say yep yeah, 20.4 volts so the idea being there would be obviously two they'll be in parallel so you'll have 8000 milliamp hours of capacity at 20 volts so we know obviously with efficiency probably charging up to 4s would be the ideal there um to keep it good so as you can see, I can then obviously have that then flat, or I can then again flick out the handle. Now, because obviously I've got a weighty pack on this side, it is gonna flop over like that. Once it's balanced out, it's gonna sit there on the front because I have angled the front lower ledge correctly. So it sits at the right angle. So what I will do actually, I've also got another couple of bits here. Let me see if I can prop that up a bit. That might help. Yep, yeah, there we go. Let me grab my phone so I can show you that better. Ooh, without the light, I got the my office light in the right place. So as you can see, we've got the charging, the battery cradle on either side. That is wired in. We've obviously got the air out slots. And then of course, then if I hold that down on that side, if we've got a pack on the other side, we can see then the LiPo connections will be directly facing you. And then you can obviously access the charger as normal via its capacitive buttons and charge whatever you want. And then when you're finished, I'm going to put it back up. Say a pack, we can obviously then put it back flat. Move my little bit. We can obviously then push the little latches and switch the charger off. Hey, you know I am. Cool ice charge case and power supplies. Constantly innovating. This is the first one with the Air 8. The plan will be to obviously expand and go to other charges as well. Thanks for watching and you know where to find me. Cheers. Bye-bye.